to be with you, and she is young and she's beautiful, a former cover girl and the country's latest pop sensation. Earlier this year, Colette shot straight to the top with Ring My Bell and All I Want to Do Is Dance. Now she has a new single, That's What I Like About You. Also about to release uh, her debut album, Raise the Roof, uh, she kindly joins us right here this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. A little early? <laughs> Slightly. <laughs> Colette, the thing that interests me about you for many, many other reasons as well is the fact that you write so much of your own material. Yeah, I do. I yeah. write a lot of it. I mean, what, uh, what attracts you to a song? What, where do you get your ideas? Uh, in weird places. Such as? <laughs> uh, driving in the car, in the shower, <laughs> in the kitchen. You drive the car in the shower? <laughs> Try to. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of different places. They always, like, hit me somewhere where I uh, It's just totally unexpected. And I had to scrounge around for a piece of paper and a pen and write it down. And away you go. And they've also, I mean, dancing seems to be the key thing to it. Yeah. Um, uh, like we're just listening there about the crash of 87, and now we've got the crash of 89 today. It seems as though the more trouble the world gets into, the more they want to dance. I think so. Dance think their so. way out of it. Yeah, I think people like to forget their problems, go out to nightclubs and uh, have a really good time. Do you uh, go to nightclubs a lot? I mean, as an observer, watching the dance trends and watching what they're wearing? Or do you, do you set the trends? Um, uh, a little bit of both, I think. Uh, I like to go to clubs and watch people. I, I love uh, watching people dance and having a good time and sort of letting go and being free. And then I try and set my trend as well, I think. <laughs> and what about the clothes? I mean, your clothes are so... Colette. <laughs> um, yeah, well, bike shorts are very comfortable and very practical, and I love bright colours, and I think more people should wear bright colours. <laughs> yeah, you certainly... Uh, w I mean, you make Kerry Ann look quite conservative, actually. I mean, your, your, your choice of colours is unbelievable. She's very bright this morning. Oh, well, she's bright every morning. <laughs> but I've been reading up about you, and I was most intrigued with your days as a fashion model, mm -hmm. um, which have not been documented all that, that uh, notably. I mean, the, the story I really love was when you were in Paris. Tell us about the leaky bath. I love that. <laughs> you from Smash Hits, eh? Hey? Uh, the leaky bath. I was I living in a small apartment in Paris, and underneath was a bit, another tiny apartment with eight children and the mother and father. And I had this bath that leaked every time I pulled the plug. And so I couldn't have a shower or anything because it was sort of all joined in one. And I decided just before I was leaving Paris, I thought, oh, I've got to, you know, let the bath out. And there's no way I can have more than that hot water. So I let it out and they set their kids up with these little knives banging knives? on my door. Yeah. Like, because they were having a shower as well, I mean, from your bath. Definitely, it was yeah. all over the bed and, and I went down once and had a look and I couldn't see anything. And so you left Paris in a hurry? I left Paris in a hurry after that, it scared me. Attacked by knife-wielding <laughs> children. <laughs> yeah. the, uh, also, you met a lot of famous people along the way. And again, one guy I interviewed years ago, who I obviously never forget, is Jack Nicholson. Mm. You, you met him in a party. I met him in a club in L.A. and. Yeah. Um, it was called Helena's. It was a very exclusive sort of club, and I sort of managed to mangle my way in there. And, um, at the time, Jack Nicholson was going to a lot of parties, and his sort of line to young girls, just as a joke, was, you know, I'm a bad boy, you're a bad girl. And my agency had been telling me about this, and they knew him, he was friends, and, and I thought, oh, what a great idea, because I, I love Jack Nicholson. I think he's, like, brilliant, and he's so cool. And so I went running over, and I sat on his knee and said, Hi, Jack, I'm a bad girl from Australia. Are you a bad boy? <laughs> <laughs> and he was totally flabbergasted, and he didn't know what to say. And then people from the agency came up, and everyone had a laugh about it. You embarrassed Jack Nicholson? Uh, I think so. He was very shocked. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, what's next? Uh, I mean, the album, uh, I'm told that having an album is like sort of giving birth almost. It's a, it's a massive amount oh, of Oh, I think, it, yeah, it's like that, all right? It's like, you get really tense, and, and sort of, you have your crabby days, and then your good days, and... Yeah, I'm pleased with the album. It's really good, and um, I've written, co-written, and written a third of the album. Uh, and I like the title "Raise the Roof." It's sort of like a, another R way of having a party. You R A Z A, you raise yeah. the roof. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations on your success so far. Good luck with the album. Thank you. And nice to talk to you. Nice talking to you. Colette uh, joining us here this morning, and uh, all she wants to do is dance. Oh yes, and the conservative one is now back.